what it look like tv we are back thank you for joining me if you haven't yet hit that like and subscribe button to help me out i'm trying to grow to 5,000 subscribers but anyway on this one we're going to get into this story out of virginia somehow they thought it was a good idea for a 22 year old i guess on a high school girls basketball team to impersonate a 13 year old so that means this was either she was either impersonating an eighth grader or a ninth grader at 22 years old and they thought that they was going to pull this off but obviously they didn't if we talking about it so let's slide on over and let's check out this article then we're going to come back chop it up see how we feel about it and then y'all can tell me how y'all feel about it in the comments section let's see what's going on girls high school basketball coach in virginia has been fired after impersonating a 13 year old player it happened during a game last month so here you're going to see this video it's junior varsity coach arlisha boykins wearing the number one on her jersey well she's 22 years old she took the place of a player who was out of town, even using that child's name, according to the authorities. And the head... Come on, man. See the way she blocked the shot so nonchalantly. She better had 35, 40 points in every one of these games. This is pitiful, man. How did you think that you was going to get away with this? What told you that you was going to get away with this one? This makes absolutely no sense. Which who allegedly knew about the switch also was terminated. After the ruse was discovered, members of the team and their parents decided to forfeit the rest of the season. This is unfortunate. Wow. There are games, like my little guys play soccer, you know, sometimes they'll be a super tall kid. Yeah. I'm like, how is that yeah, 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 yeah. But this was a little different. No <laughs> one's going to notice someone who's not years old. Different. It's a lot different. Slide over to the big camera. My daughter's been playing basketball since she's been six years old. Now we're in the sophomore year of high school. And I know there's just a lot of parents that's willing to cheat, bend the rules, lie, basically anything to get their kids a competitive edge. I done seen referees totally turn against kids. Matter of fact, we're in a little battle with the school district now because the referees are a little shaky and fishy. But it's real weird to me how invested a lot of adults get in the juvenile sports now don't get it twisted i'm in the stands and i'm going crazy and i'm cheering hard but if my daughter lose she lose she gotta get better but i'm noticing a lot of people don't feel that way a lot of people uh have interests that they want to see met and they're going to make sure they're met and obviously they thought it was appropriate for a 22 year old to play with some basically super teenagers when i first heard this story i thought she was going to at least be posing as a senior or junior but to be trying to pose as a 13 year old makes this even more ludicrous and why would you want to dominate in a game full of 13 year olds that tells me a lot about you as the adult like why would you even want to dominate in a game full of 13 year olds if you're on the coaching staff then that tells me that you must have played the little a little basketball in college so you done went through high school play went through college play and you gonna go back and play on the freshman team or the jv team because nine times out of ten 13 you're not on varsity so you're not even playing with the big girls tell me how y'all feel about it man what y'all think about this this one right here they deserve everything that they got coming to them with this one this makes absolutely no sense I don't even thought I don't even see how you thought that this was a good idea that you was going to pass I don't even <laughs> how did you think that the parents wasn't going to realize that number one ain't number one no more so you thought all the parents was just going to be quiet and back this now because y'all pulled the selfish move that y'all wanted to do the kids got to sacrifice the rest of their seats that's the real sad part that's the people that's really affected and affected by this the kids that had to throw their season Imagine how many kids was working all, all summer getting ready for the season. That's what a lot of girls do. That's what a lot of athletes do. They work all work all summer, play AAU, get ready for the school season. Now they got to throw theirs away because you had a, a, a brilliant, dumb, dumb idea that ruined their season for them. But anyway, hit me up in the comments section. Let me know how y'all feel about this. I'm pretty sure, hopefully, nobody watching this video would try to pull something off like this themselves. But tell me how y'all feel about it. Anybody from the area that got a little bit more info, 
hit me up in the comments and you know share it with us if you got any stories or anything that you want me to cover hit me up in the comments once again hit that like subscribe button do all them things that the youtubers ask you to do do that for me and if you done made it to this point in the video you my mvp i'm gonna check you out on the next one i appreciate you